for my milestone 250th episode of Retro Reviews, it feels right to be discussing Peter Gabriel and his latest effort. But the question is, does this album live up to expectations? Hi people and hello my chili con carnage crew, welcome to this 5 minute review on Peter Gabriel and his latest album, I.O. Bright Side, Dark Side. You know it's funny because Peter Gabriel always reminded me a bit of Roger Waters, in the sense that he is an English musician and was part of a large progressive rock group in the 70s and eventually he ventured off to do his own solo career in the 80s and onwards and was anchored with political messages in his songs as well. Except the difference between Peter Gabriel and Roger Waters is that I would prefer to listen to Peter Gabriel solo any day of the week over Roger. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie and pretend that I am the biggest fan of the man who dresses in a light bulb suit, aka Peter Gabriel and his solo works. I guess many would say that I'm a flyby fan, but I consider my favourite tunes by the musician a little more in depth than the casual listener. I mean, who could forget staple classics like Biko, Salisbury Hill, or Games Without Frontiers? So this begs the first question with the album, his first in nearly 15 years. As an artist with over five decades of musical output under his belt and several anthemic tracks as well as iconic video clips and performances, it is nigh impossible to compare this recent album to his wealth of his past. But I can say that I believe that this holds up with his fans for most of the part. It is staying true to his sound that has been present on his last few releases, except without the orchestral intervention. Instead, we are subjected to an ambitious electronic art pop record that embraces his past soundscape with a somewhat modern twist separated into two halves, the bright side and dark side. And if you haven't listened to the album yet, then you might have guessed that of course, this is the same record on both halves, just with different mixes. It's an ambitious task to produce a double album at 73 years of age, but it's perhaps more ambitious to give the listener two versions of the same record in different perceptions. But if anyone is up for the task, then it has to be Peter, as is evident with his 2011 release, New Blood. During my playthrough, I found my interest in the record coming in waves, ebbing and flowing, depending on the tracks. And this is perhaps one of the biggest drawbacks for the record. We are talking about 24 tracks with a runtime of 2 hours and 17 minutes, which, while not as intense as Dolly Parton's newest record, is certainly not as cut and dry as the previous name effort either. But it could have used with a bit of culling in the end. I might sound like that Simpsons meme here but in the end I got things to do and trying to sit back and hear this entire record in its entirety is an effort. Please cut eight tracks and no I am not crazy just a realist. Still despite the works being the same tunes from side I to side O they do feel like completely different pieces and that speaks volumes to the musicianship of Peter Gabriel. Despite its lengthy runtime it never feels like a bore or tedious effort to listen to. Merely it contains a few tracks that you could call filler. On the other side it doesn't exactly contain explosive hits that are instant classics either. It's an album that transcends the middle of the road effort usually found with aging rock stars and this is hard to to give the album a higher score than what it has earned. Overall, I would give this album a score of 6 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Plain for Time, Dark Side Mix, I.O. Light Side Mix, and The Court, Light Side Mix. Was the wait worth it? Eh, not exactly if I'm being honest, but it is better than any releases I've heard from the artists on this side of the millennium, just not by much. I will say it is good to hear some new music by Peter Gabriel though, and it's more to my liking, and he does feel at ease with this effort. Still, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this album. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us and stay notified for future music related content because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always people, you have a great day and stay spicy. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us and stay notified for future music related content because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always people, you have a great day and stay spicy.